Hello, I'm Elizabeth Chong and I'm on holidays. Guess what? I'm in a Jayco caravan here at Mitchelton's Winery. It's the most beautiful spot, but I'm persuaded that I'm going to cook a beautiful lunch now for my friends. One of the best part of holidaying, good eating. So come with me and I'll show you a very unusual pasta, as I've called it, East Meets West. This is a little bit of scotch fillet and I'm just going to just slice it up very, very quickly. And of course, in the Chinese manner, we always marinate our meats. So a little light sprinkle of soy. All of these ingredients, mind you, I bought here locally at Nagambi. So it's very easy to cook whatever you want, no matter where you are holidaying. And this is the most beautiful spot right on the Goulburn River here. A little bit of sesame oil. And finally, a little dusting of corn flour. And the corn flour gives the, the beef that lovely silky finish. And the other ingredients are some mushrooms, a little bit of red capsicums for a bit of crunch and a lovely bit of flavour and colour, some spring onions, and of course, I never cook beef without a little bit of garlic. So here's the pasta here, the most beautiful, I call them bows. I think the, the, the culinary term is farfalle, but you could use fusilli, you could use spaghetti, or you can use Chinese noodles. The important thing in cooking, the Chinese manner, is to have your pan hot before you add the oil. That way, there's a sort of a smoky flavour that comes into, it imbues the food. So I can feel now that it's, the heat's coming from there. So add a little bit of oil. You can use peanut oil, olive oil, any oil you like. First of all, the beef. So, the beef should be sizzling quite happily. Turn it around so that, it, well, it shouldn't stick because your pan is, is hotter than your oil. It's just beginning to turn colour from red to just brown. It's about what I would always say 80% cooked. It's time now to put the mushrooms in and the capsicums. Give that a little toss around. They require very little cooking. I'm going to season that now with a little bit of oyster sauce. So I'll just put in a tablespoon or so of the oyster sauce and a little salt. But the Chinese do have a little bit of a secret with seasoning. We always add sugar with our salt. It's like the, uh, the yin and yang of life, I think. Sugar and salt go well together. So just going to add a little water from the kettle as a base for making a sauce. So stir that around. Finally, we marry the pasta into this wonderful dish. What could be nicer than this? Spring onions for the final touch. Going to dish it up now. So everybody can come in and have lunch now. This, this, this would almost serve six people. I think we might just go and get ourselves a little bottle of wine to go with that. 